Hello and thank you for joining us uh, today at Hexagon TV. I'm Marcel Waldhauser, Vice President, Business Development at Endograph, and I will be your host. And discussing today with Mr. Daniel Filippone from Ficantieri out of Italy, and Mr. Niels Amazon from Odense Maritime Technology out of Denmark. Thank you, gentlemen, for uh, joining me today. Yes. I would like to start with you, Mr. Filippone, about uh, asking and telling our viewers about your company and a bit of about yourself as well as a background. So under the guidance of our CEO, Mr. Giuseppe Bono, Fincantieri has become a global shipbuilding company. Now today we are the first Western designer and shipbuilder with 4 billion of euros of revenue, 20,000 employees and 21 shipyards spread across North America, South America, Europe and Asia. We have a large portfolio of products including cruise ships, where we are the worldwide uh, market leader. We have uh, military vessels or spanning from uh, uh, aircraft carriers to submarines. We have mega yachts, uh, high-tech ferries, uh, offshore support vessel where we are leading player. Plus, we provide services like uh, after sale, ship repair, okay. ship transformation, plus other components and turnkey solution. I am uh, in the the corporate in the function of uh, process uh, industrial process improvement. I have spent 11 years in Fincantieri, uh, covering the several roles, management roles uh, in line and staff, uh, and previously worked on software development in IBM uh, and in management consulting in McKinsey and Company. I understand you just recently embarked on implementing the smart yard solutions from Intergraph. So how do you see the benefits that you are thinking to achieve with all of that? We see smart yard solution as a big enabler for a step change in the performance of our product development process. And we believe that there are two major drivers of change, that is increased integration and increased automation. Mm -hmm. Increased automation is reached especially through the automatic generation of all the technical documents and through the development uh, of uh, rules that automatically can check uh, the respect of the customer requirements and of the norms uh, uh, put by the classification societies on the mm -hmm. ship. Instead, in increased integration is provided through the unique common database where all the different departments can put all the information so that everyone can see the on in only one mm -hmm. place the, the updated information plus from the common environment of application that uh, enables the concurrent modeling, 2D and 3D modeling. And this uh, new environment will help us to substitute our, our current legacy systems. Okay. So to you, Niels, uh, you're already a long time user of our uh, tools as such, but yep. you have a great experience uh, in let's say, doing design work while somebody else is doing the, uh, the fabrication side around the world. Yep. Can you tell us a bit about the company, first of all, yep. and yourself, and then, yes. and then about these projects? Yes. Uh, as you know, uh, we originate from the uh, Mersk Müller uh, shipyard in Denmark that was shut down in 2010. OMT was founded on the idea that uh, we should still continue to provide designs. We have a long history of tradition of designing ships in Denmark. Um, so we decided to create a company that primarily or only look at designing ships uh, based on the legacy from the large container ships, the uh, bulk carriers and also the defense ships we've done. Um, and we provide these, the idea is that we do the design of the ship for somebody else to build uh, any place in the world basically. Uh, and I'm the chief uh, process officer uh, at OMT. I'm responsible for IT, and that includes the Smart Marine uh, suite. Uh, when the yard was shut down, all the legacy systems were left behind, uh, so we started on a clean plate, and we decided we would use the Smart Marine suite for as far as possible. Um, our latest, um, or largest and latest uh, project with the Smart Marine is a uh, 
project where we work with a customer in Canada uh, using the global work share functionality within, within, within uh, SmartWay. Okay. So how do you manage, because you're responsible for a design but somebody else is building it, how do you manage these yeah. responsibilities yes. and, and the changes of these responsibilities? <coughs> yes. Um, this was actually agreed early stages in, in the contract with the customer. Uh, OMT is doing the engineering design, we're doing the uh, modular uh, design of the ship uh, and the production engineering and detailed uh, planning of the ship is done on the yard in, in Canada. Okay. Um, so in, in addition to above we also manage uh, the, the, the work that we collaborate on with uh, permission groups in, in functionality from Smart Marine. Okay, right. So I understand from you, uh, Daniel, that you have a big team yourself, you have a big team to help you from, uh, from Intergraph, so there must be quite a lot of dynamics uh, in that uh, equation. So what do you rely on the Intergraph experts and what are you doing yourself and what do you see further as opportunities there? So basically, we have uh, to introduce uh, the new, a new system in a large organization of more than 1,000 engineers and 30 technical departments. And uh, introducing uh, in such organization the system without creating too much disruption on mm -hmm. the ships that are currently under construction, it's quite a very complex task. Exactly. So we are uh, trying to do a careful planning and uh, also a, a, we will uh, de develop the, process, the project across several years through a staged approach. We have split the smarter solution uh, in waves and okay. for each wave we have three steps. One uh, test with the key user to get them acquainted with the product. A second step uh, is a pilot with a, sm a small but representative part of a real ship in production. And the third is the put in, in production the smart yard module. Okay. Of course, a key success factor uh, in such context uh, is uh, the effective cooperation between the Fink and Thierry and the Intergraph uh, teams. And such a cooperation requires, uh, first of all, good communication, good project management skills, and also the ability to keep a global view of the, of the project, uh, not to get lost into the detail of the spe specific application, but having always in mind the whole integrated solution. Okay, very interesting. But in the past, I remember you developed a lot of software yourself, and switching into commercial available software, there's a major change because a tailor suit versus a more generic suit is always different. So how do you manage the expectations at the customers, your customers being the engineers in this case? I, I would say that the smart yard for me is generating in Fincantieri what I call the Copernican revolution. Because they, it is shifting away our engineers from the management of paper documents and drawing and moving them toward the management of digital information into a database. Mm. And this is a real challenge from the change management point of view. But we have also the challenge of being able to get the benefit of the new system, that is increased integration, increased automation, right. without losing our large know-how in ship design right. that we have built over decades and through the delivery of more than 7,000 ships. So what we need to are trying to do is to translate our knowledge into standard catalog, digital catalog, and to translate the knowledge into the development of software rules that translate technical knowledge into system procedure. Okay. Of course, uh, this should be always possible, and if not, we will have to evaluate the specific trade-offs. Okay. I understood, Niels, you already have quite a lot of experience with integration, with schematics uh, as such, but particularly in the area where I can imagine with all the cables in a vessel, that's quite a challenge, I imagine. Yes, um, it's true. We uh, integrated uh, all the schematics uh, into the 3D model. Um, the, the model we are working with has some 12,000 plus uh, cables. It's not a large ship, it's a very dense ship, a lot of functionality, so um, it has been a, uh, a challenge uh, to, 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 to do the 3D modeling of the cables, but uh, we use some of the functionality in, uh, in Smart Marine 3D to uh, manage the uh, cable fill by using the cable fill uh, calculation functionality that's in the, in the software. Okay. okay. A question actually for both of you. It's, it's, uh, we hear engineering people need to produce the ships. Do you see that the alignment of the two 
can disciplines is, is really an area where you see benefits uh, that can be achieved by using the same technology, the same data centricity as such? I, I would say absolutely yes. Having all the technical information updated in real time in only one place, uh, for me, unlock a huge potential in process improvement, not only for production but also from the other function of the company. So we have we talk about uh, purchasing, project management, quality. All the, for all these people, the data are now uh, available earlier. Uh, they are more reliable, and especially they can be easily retrieved. Uh, today, these people have to go around with the company to find data from SAP, from other technical uh, systems, and from paper. Okay. What about you, Niels? How do you see all of that? Do you see yeah. a, a major alignment, particularly because you have a split yes. as, as responsibility? Yeah. I, I think for OMT, this is key to our success. One of the one of our keys, to, one of our keys to success, um, as we need to cooperate with yards on the other side of the uh, mm -hmm. of the globe. Right. Um, yeah. Maybe maybe it's more a question actually for you, Niels, uh, but. Since you're doing this challenge, the yard says different different capacities. How do you see that with the modular design capabilities? Well, um, I, I think that's that's a given. You need that to build a ship in in any ways. But it it also helps, of course, when you do uh, remotely uh, or, or, or remote collaborations. Um, it's definitely for sure that you need to you have this. Uh, use a modular approach that help you do concurrent work, right? Yep. And I think the same works for you with your 20 yards that yeah, you have. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Modular design for us is fundamental in shipbuilding because uh, basically the, the ship is designed in blocks that okay. have to be put together like a, in a Lego model. Okay. So this allows us to build a ship across multiple uh, shipyards. Every shipyard has his own blocks. They have to assemble his block to create a kind of big section. The section in transfer to the final uh, shipyard that assemble the different section and then proceed with the final outfitting tasks. Okay, great. So with that question, I'd like to thank uh, Nils and uh, Daniela very much for uh, the information and sharing that with uh, US customers as well. So if you want to see more about all of this, please visit our website. It's ppm.indograph.com. And stay tuned for more information on hexagontv.com as well. So my name is Marcel Waldhauser, and I thank you very much for your attention.